Hello everyone. I'd like to introduce our group's project outcome. This is an intelligent medical service for robots based on paper. And the reason we choose the medical thing is because of this year, the spread of coronavirus 19 increased users' demand in medical industry. And relatively, there are still few applications in the market that combine two fields, medical and paper, so our group chose the same. And next, I will introduce functions related to this system from six angles. To make the shooting clear, let us move the lens to the front interface. And the first is hospital overview. Here are some related information about the hospital. Let me see. And uh, for detail, and then the department introduction. Mm, some related treatment center, internal medicine, surgery, and etc. If you click one, for instance, reproductive, you will see some experts from related departments with names and information. Now we move to the third section, the introduction of experts. And here you can see the same screen. And you, if you, for instance, collect the reproductive, some detailed information about the experts. Next, move on to the second section, medical guide. The advantage of the section is that it mainly saves manpower, also conveniently solving most common medical problems by browsing flowcharts, and for example, treatment process. And the flowchart will be clearly on the page, and also introductions for hospitalization, a subtitle like Developing room service, observation process, and medical card. Also, the third module, you can see the discharge process. Case copy process. And our paper is oriented to Chinese hospitals. So part of the tests in the third and the fourth modules on interface are in Chinese. But don't worry, I will describe meanings of that. And next I will introduce the third section, intelligent guidance. It is also an innovative section among six functions. Here are two operation methods. And I want to collect body parts from the list, for example, head, neck, cheek, and etc. And the other way is from the image. A human body image would appear. And switch gender. For example, collect the head of the human. And here are some symptoms on eyes, ears, and etc. Collect symptoms like dry eyes. Here's a question whether to use eye drops for a long time. Answer yes. And it could appear doctor answering interface at a glance. The next is intelligent question and answer module. This module involves relevant interface, technically implements intelligent voice recognition and interaction. People could analyze context and answer based on the questions you ask. When paper eyes turn blue, you could ask questions. For example, what you want to drink? Please Because the robot's network positioning function we could utilize, let me give another example. Today, 
具体吗？那就听听我的推荐吧。Here, long press on the head could stop singing. Here are the above three examples to describe some functions of intelligent questions and answer. Next, I will describe the fifth module, health education. And in this part, it's subtitled like in hospital, leave hospital, recovery, operation. And other tips patients should pay attention to, like inspect and etc. Finally, we talk about the sixth module, anti-coronavirus 19 videos. This module was created for the special circumstances this year. Placing the hospital could allow users to realize the situation of epidemic. Here you can see many videos, and you can click one. Some of us are stuck at home. Some are stuck far away from home. Some of us have lost their jobs. And some have to shut down their businesses. Some of us are cutting down expenses. And some can't even pay their rent and bills. Some can go back to school. And some can go back to their jobs. And some of us are still working day and night, no matter how exhausted they are, or how dangerous it is. Our system is mainly dedicated to meeting the needs of Chinese medical market. And also, our team continues to make full use of knowledge interfaces. Improve system practicality and innovation also enhance service efficiency. In the end, this is the whole context of this project. Thank you very much for your patience.